So in this session, I will ask you a couple of questions, and you will have to answer to my question for at least one minute, and at most two minutes, okay? okay. So the reason I picked this topic is because recently I'm experiencing a very sort of tough period of my life is like I'm interviewing a lot and I somehow feel like I'm distanced with all of my friends so I look it up I try to look up some answer to why cause this just because I'm preparing for myself why I get distanced with my friends but I find out a trivia which is the golden triangle of friendship <laughs> the golden triangle is based on three elements the first is P which is positivity you got to have positivity in your friendship. The second is C, which is consistency. You have to consist consistently meet each other in several times to make sure that your friendship is uh, stable. And the third part is B, which is vulnerability. You will have to show your vulnerability in front of your friend. So anytime you find yourself, anytime you find yourself distance with one of your friends, check out this golden triangle. It might be one of them having the problem. So, first question: Do you make friends with colleagues? Why or why not? Why? <laughs> this question goes to you. Because this patient will choose you, means this person will not choose the other one, right? Mm -hmm. But in our uh, clinic, it's very unique that everybody are kind of lazy. So everybody is <laughs> pushing the patients away. They say, hey, you, you, you go check this patient. I want to rest. Well, I want to see the Korean drama or something. <laughs> so they are like on the sofa. Everybody say, hey, you, you go check the, 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 the patient. So that everybody is... We said in Chinese words, well, <laughs> <laughs> we have a really good relationship with each, with each other. And about the nurses, they are very nice to us, but we are really bad to them. <laughs> Sometimes we are patientless. If we want something, they are too slow, we will say, hey, please go faster. <laughs> and, but after work, we will invite them for dinner because we treat them too bad. <laughs> That's the way we become good friends in our clinics. Yeah, thank you. Great answer. For the next question, what is your way of maintaining friendship? What is your way of maintaining friendship? This question goes to Um, David. Bora. No, Nora. 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 Uh, I think the way I maintain the friendship is keep uh, go out with my friends periodically yeah, to update what's new information about my friends and myself. And I will also ask about my friends how also work recently. And
Nice to be quirks too. Uh, recently, people are like not that into books, more of the uh, internet stuff. So next question, introduce us one of your friends who is not you and your story with him or her. Introduce us one of your friends who is not you. Nikki. <laughs> nice question. She's not in the same class with me. She's just the, in the next class. But we didn't know each other. We, we just know each other, but we are not that good at the, in junior high school. We become better and better after we break up, uh, we graduate, because we share the books or novels or common a uh, comic. So we have a similar taste, and uh, because we live really close. So she, we just live in the neighborhood. Sometimes we'll go, uh, we'll go like riding bicycle to far away, and then at night, <laughs> and then, and then we maybe ride from 6 p.m. to like 10 p.m. and then we continue to chat each other just at the right a corner of her house. We're just chatting uh, on the streets, and then because we we smile or we laugh too loud, so sometimes the neighbor they will close shut the, shut the window really loud. Shut up. Okay, and then and then we we will uh, smaller our volume. But now she's now in Japan. Yeah, so very far from me, but every time we con we contact each other. We, st we still like we are really still really close. So I miss her very much. Nice. Nice. Okay. So I asked Nikki to introduce her friends to us. Now, this question I will modify a little. Introduce us one of your non-biological friends to us. For example. Oh. Your cell phone is your friend, maybe? Oh. 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 It's quite hard, right? <laughs> this question goes to Lou. Okay, so uh, I have a friend who I am basically attached to, uh, attached to this friend for pretty much 24 hours. No, 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 wait, wait, 24 hours is like too much. <laughs> Let me count. That will be like 8 hours or, yeah, something, something like that. And I feel that uh, he is really uh, knowledgeable that I can basically to ask him anything. And also uh, he can be playful at some times. And aside from that, I think that he is also, uh, like, it, like sometimes I feel I'm not too loyal to him because, like, after like, uh, like four to five years, then I would like kind of switch him to another version of him. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but but he always stayed loyal to me. Oh, although that sometimes like he will crash. And then, and then be a, a bad friend, but but other other but other than that, like he is pretty uh, reliable, and also uh, since I'm uh, like I'm a really a uh, big fan of watching movies, and uh, and he has a, a, a little uh, so he he has something inside of him that can allows me to watch movies. Uh, 
such as uh, uh, Netflix. So uh, I, I feel that uh, that is one of the best feature of him. And <laughs> right now, I think everyone knows uh, uh, what's the name of my friend. His name is Computer. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, hey. Okay. Next question. Do you think social media changed the way we have friendship today? What's the pros and cons of it? This question go to Michelle. Yeah. Michelle. Join us. <laughs> 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 